Richard and Donna, this is 442 Sweet Bay, I think it's Sweet Bay Circle in Sugar Mill. Uh, this is a one of a kind custom home. And Sugar Mill, if you like to golf, it's probably the best golf course in this area. Down here, it looks like a few more building lots. You can see this fence, and there's a much less expensive neighborhood right on the other side of the fence that you access off the Pioneer. This is some common ground here. There's another neighborhood of kind of production homes back here, uh, separate entrance. Uh, there's just a walking path to it, but they don't have access to this. You know, as you drive in here, they're, they're older homes, kind of older country club feeling homes. This is one of the newest and nicest of, you know, that we saw coming in. Uh, it's in remarkably good condition. The exterior uh, is concrete block construction. I think, like most homes, the, the second story is wood frame. They've just had it painted with elastomeric paint. It should last, you know, a long, long time. Really good stuff. Um, didn't see any uh, evidence of settling or cracking. The exterior looks like it's in great condition. The roof looks like it's in excellent condition. I may shoot this in two videos as well, I'm not sure. Next door is a vacant home site. And we have no rear neighbors. Pool is a really nice outdoor area, we'll see that in a few moments. Some balconies. The whole second story on this is the master suite. It is uh, really, really nice. So, what a beautiful spot. There is a home there. And the agent says behind this property is a compound owned by the one of the Chick fil A founders I guess. So really a beautiful little park like setting. Um, this is on I guess three quarters of an acre. Mm -hmm. The screen's in good condition. There's some lichens that are growing here that you know they just haven't gotten around to cleaning but um, you know. Through the trees here you can see the neighbor's property. Not clearly, but you can see that there's a house back there. Uh, you might not see it on the video, but it's right there. Okay. This also has uh, city water sewer. It has uh, municipal gas. Pool equipment. Looks like it's in average condition. I don't see any active leaks. Uh, this air compressor has been replaced. This looks like it might be an original one carrier. Good brand. Here they've used a MANA. Not a real high end brand. Again, the exterior looks like it's in really nice condition here. Not quite sure what that does. Oh, that's a uh, that's a well pump for irrigation. The blue tank, I don't know. That might be designed to take some of the iron out. That's my best guess on what that is. Okay, this has a three-car garage. Really nice details. Okay. Pretty spot. It looks like nothing will ever go on across the street. Um, you know, I'd like to see more shrubs and taller plantings on that vinyl fence so that we don't look at the tops of what are clearly, you know, way less expensive housing. 
but it is what it is. Those are in the, uh, you know, that would be, those homes over there are probably, I'm going to guess 150 to 250,000 kind of production homes, national home builder. Okay, they didn't do much with the garden here, but again, as I told you in the other video, we love to garden. I don't know how you feel about it, but this is just a blank canvas waiting to happen, I think. It could be really beautiful. Um, they just stuck a few liriope out in palm trees and called it a day. You have the matching coach lights. Really nice covered porch. Got beautiful custom interior or custom doors. The, um, all the uh, windows, the agent said, are Anderson windows. Really uh, top quality stuff. Has the little peep holes that you can open from the inside. Beautiful, beautiful custom doors. some kids on golf carts. I will try to shoot a little bit of the clubhouse for you as well, the country club. Okay. Again, this is all custom done, high ceilings, rounded corners. It has the same custom knockdown finish on the ceilings and walls like you'd expect in a home like this. Really nice tile work with some Really pretty inlay work. Okay. To the right, you have your formal dining room. It's got plantation shutters, beautiful windows. It's a little dark in here because of that, but it feels really good. It's okay, ladies. <laughs> I'm going to get you in the video now that I know you don't want to be. Okay, here uh, you've got eight foot solid wood doors as well. They're using it as an exercise room. I think most people would use it as a library. Somebody could add a closet if they wanted to make another bedroom out of it. This person, I saw a Masters flag somewhere in the home. Apparently he's a big golfer and has been to the Masters. It's on my bucket list. The surround sound in much of the home. Um, and you'll see speakers in lots of different places. Custom wood doors in the back over the really nice pool. They have a built-in area for the surround sound speakers. You can access that through a closet off of one of the bedrooms, but those are speakers. There's painted speakers along the wall there. Really well done. I have to show you the peep holes. Yeah. Okay, so. Off the dining room, they have a wine, wine cellar or a wine rack. It's kind of neat with the wrought iron gates. It's kind of a butler's pantry. Looks like cherry finished cabinets. It's kind of a nice detail. And then down here will be the garage and the laundry room. I guess since I'm here, I'll show you those. Then we'll get into the rest of the house. Soap sink. Not huge, but it's nice. They have a drain in here. And then, so you can get your bearings. There's the kitchen. There's the wine pantry, dining room, foyer. Okay, we'll do the garage real quickly. It's a um, three car garage. It's nice windows that match the front elevation.
Looks like gas hot water heater as well. I don't think this is quite as big as the last one we saw. It looks like it's in average condition. Of course, we'll have that inspected. Same with the heating and air. Not a whole lot to show you. There's an exterior door. Pretty basic three-car garage. There are some pull-down stairs into the attic. Somebody stepped on the drywall over there. You see that in a lot of garages. Need to be repaired at some point. All right. Uh, the kitchen's a little bit larger in this home. I think they've got a little bit higher end appliances. There's a small walk in pantry, fluorescent lights, high ceilings here. You can see the plant shelves. These appear to be a cherry cabinet, real nice quality. These are 42 inch cabinets. They have crown molding along the top. Nice custom poles. Built in double ovens. Those are uh, general electric profile as well. Okay, have a little menu desk here. Nice granite. The island has uh, Lots of storage in it, a lot of cabinets and drawers. I don't know if it has electricity in here or not. It should and it does, yeah. GE profile fridge. Uh, I'm sorry, monogram, GE monogram. There's a KitchenAid stainless steel dishwasher. really well done. Okay. Cooktop is gas. Has a kind of a commercial grade exhaust fan. And it opens up really nicely to a good sized breakfast nook. Breakfast room, the whole family can easily eat their guests as well. And it opens to the great room. Okay. Um, over here we have um, a full bath, and it services the pool. Glass block up there. Doesn't show well in the video. Good tile work. Okay, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and show you the pool. Really high quality doors. Nice creative tile on the floor. Those French doors go into what I originally thought was the master bedroom, but in fact, it is. it can be a master bedroom, but... Um, the entire second floor is a master suite, and I think you'll be duly impressed with that. Uh, down at that end, uh, it is plumbed apparently for, there's a gas uh, feed, and I want to say there's uh, water back there, so somebody could do an outdoor kitchen. And then that door goes, uh, you know, to that, to that bathroom that we saw. This space is really well done. A 
few fairly typical cracks in the pool deck, but we're going to see that in most pools that we that we that we look at. It has a self-cleaning pool. It has the jets that pop up from the floor throughout. That's water feature. Two different swim outs. There and there. Of course, they'll have the up lighting. Uh, I'm sure there's irrigation there, lots of electricity. They have uh, music in the uh, rocks, fake rocks. Again, the backyard view is really nice. Uh, those balconies will be from the upstairs master. Okay, really excellent outdoor space. TV outlets everywhere. As you'll see when we get into the closets upstairs. Okay. So we've done the front of the home. We've done the garage, the laundry, the kitchen. We've done that powder or the uh, full bathroom that services the pool. Done the really nice breakfast area. Okay. We've done that study in the front. So here there are two bedrooms that have normally, well, I guess you could call it a Jack and Jill bath, but it's the nicest Jack and Jill bath you'll ever see. Tile floors here, you know, really good space. Typical closets. Okay. And then this bathroom. Um, I mean, it's as nice as any master bathroom that's out there. Double vanities. Nice tile work. It only has a shower, does not have a tub. So behind the glass block here, You see some maintenance items needs to have some grout repaired in the corners. The glass block. And then a water closet here. So I'm going to go back out this way to the other bedroom because as you can see, remember that goes out to the front of the home. You have a long hallway here. That's the guest room that we just looked at that entered the bathroom. Under here is a closet and also accesses all of the electronics. Uh, that you saw from the great room. I don't see a light switch here. Here we go. So you can get to the television. You can get to the speakers. Uh, there looks like there are all kinds of, I don't want to call it structured wiring, but a lot going on here. So that's kind of the back of the entertainment center. And then as we continue down this hallway, here is what you know I would think would be the master bedroom suite, but it is not. Nice-sized closet. Hope this video is not too jumpy. So then we have French doors out to the pool and the eye area. 
Beautiful custom windows there. Nice little sitting area. So I'm guessing if these were the two bedrooms for the boys, there would be a little bit of an argument over who gets it. Maybe they can swap off once a, once a week or once a month. And so you see this shares the bathroom that we just, we just saw. That's the other bedroom. It's a really nice setup. Okay, so finally I'm going to show you the, um, the entire upstairs is the master suite. And if the agent wouldn't have told me that, I wouldn't have known until we got up there. Um, really nice work on the stairs and trim. Nice sconce sliding all the way up. Some of the light fixtures may not convey them. There were some questions about that, but we can figure that out if you like the home. So this entire upstairs is the master suite. I'm trying not to get you dizzy here, I apologize. So we've got a couple things going on. When you come to the top of the stairs, the sleeping quarters are to the left. And then there's a couple closets which you'll be impressed with in the bathroom all the way at the end of the hall. So starting in the owner's quarters, real tall ceilings. Beautiful real wood floors, really well done. And then this has a great place for your coffee in the morning. Those are those inexpensive houses I was telling you about. I mean, as long as it's fenced, it's not an issue. But they're there. This is just a really nice, nice space here. A few little maintenance issues. But so far, everything I've seen looks uh, as we would hope, as you would expect. Okay, so that's the bedroom. Where's the closet, you might ask? Well, here's her closet. This is very stressful. <laughs> stressful picking out your clothes. You may have to have a, a little break. It looks like a scuttle uh, uh, service uh, access to the attic from here. Okay, so that's the ladies. Here's a the upstairs air handler that was just replaced. Gentlemen's closet. You know, you got to really like your closet a lot to, uh, you know, do your business in here, but, uh, <laughs> it's a, obviously a great space. I'm a little jealous there. 2006 Masters. So, uh, if you can't make this closet space work, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to help you in Florida. <laughs> and a really nice uh, bathroom suite as well. I mean, just top notch.
balcony over the pool. Small. Large soaking tub. closet and then the uh, the shower it's all in pretty nice condition so there you have it um, we're gonna move on to the last property which is Grand Tuscany and um, we'll get this uploaded and look forward to your your thoughts on this. Uh, I may try to swing by the uh, country club and maybe take a couple shots of the clubhouse if you like or if you tell me you have an interest in this um, I can always run over there and, and, and uh, shoot a couple holes that sort of thing. So thanks so much.